Did any of you watch Five Nights at Freddy's yet? Well, believe us when we say that this horror sensation is a film for the ages, and it's all thanks to the hard work of the cast and crew. Five Nights at Freddy's is one of the best films to come out this year, and all of this success was made possible by the sheer dedication and hard work of the actors. From working late hours to interacting with robots, they did it all. Did you guys know that the actors who worked on Five Nights at Freddy's had to keep their activities a secret? Well, they did. After all, we didn't find out about the film until it was almost complete. These are just some of the strict rules that the cast members had to follow. It's such a wild world, FNAF, and Josh brought this really grounded approach to the character of Mike, who's bringing us through the pizzeria and then these five nights. Five Nights at Freddy's beat out a lot of other strong contenders to become 2023's biggest horror movie. This could have a big effect on the genre going forward. People seem to think that the movie version of the popular video game Five Nights at Freddy's was worth the wait, even though it came out years later. When it came out in October, Five Nights at Freddy's didn't get good reviews from reviewers, but it did very well at the box office, making over $280 million. This news is likely to have big effects on the industry as companies try to repeat its success. It was clear that Five Nights at Freddy's was a hit when the movie opened and made an amazing $80 million in its first weekend. Even though Five Nights at Freddy's came out at the same time as Peacock, the long-awaited movie based on the video game still made more money than films like Scream 6, The Exorcist, Believer, and even The Nun Elu. It wasn't easy for Five Nights at Freddy's to become the biggest horror movie of 2023, but a lot of things worked out in its favor, even though it had a notoriously difficult production that caused many delays. The making of Five Nights at Freddy's wasn't just a movie project, it was a trip that was carefully planned with fans in mind. The group had a unique challenge, they had to bring to life a story that had a lot of passionate fans while also making it easy for newcomers to understand. To find the best mix between pleasing fans and appealing to everyone, they had to walk a fine line that required more than just acting skills. Then um, the creator of the game was very specific about, you know, wanting to link this movie to the first game and I was getting the direct download from him in terms of what elements of the lore we were, you know, going to be folding into our story for the movie. And, and so I, I did dip into that fan space a little bit, but I also tried to stay focused um, on the elements that I knew we were diving into. Emma Tammy, the director, stressed how important it was to include everyone, especially the younger fans of the series. For many young people, seeing this movie in the theater with their friends is like a rite of passage. For this to work, the movie had to carefully include parts that diehard fans would recognize. It took eight long years of hard work to get right. Working closely with the game's author, Scott Cawthon, the team did everything they could to make sure the game was true to the source material. Cawthon's participation was very important. He laid out a clear plan and led the cast and team through the ins and outs of the franchise, making sure that every detail hit home with fans. But making the fans happy was only half the fight. Another thing the movie had to do was hook people who had never played Five Nights at Freddy's. To do this, Emma added things that were meant to charm everyone who saw them, even if they didn't know much about the game. I wanted to make sure we were doing the fan base justice in every decision that we made along the way. They were really at the forefront of our minds. We knew that the visibility from the fan base was super high. My call is heavily involved and is watching every single shot. Another strict rule that the group had to follow was that they had to fully understand the world of Five Nights at Freddy's. With so many loyal fans, any change from what the game is about would be noticed. The actors learned a lot about the game's history to make sure their roles were true to the original and hit home with both fans and newbies. This movie, apart from others, is the care that was taken with the story to create something based on a beloved game. So I think for those hardcore Five Nights at Freddy's fans out there, they can rest assured that we are taking care of their world, taking care of their game, and taking care of these characters. This film is going to be a fan favorite. I mean, we have such an incredible legion of fans out there. Uh, and I think one of the exciting things is that we are making this movie for them, and I think they're gonna really respond to that. Despite the scary and exciting scenes, there was one rule that everyone had to follow, have fun, especially when you were working with the animatronics. 
Animatronics are a big part of the brand, so they had to feel real. One important way to do this was to enjoy their presence. This rule was very important for Piper Rubio, who played Abby and was the youngest group member. Piper had to really enjoy her exchanges with the animatronics because Abby's fearless interest in them stood in contrast to the older character's fear. Emma told Piper how amazed she was that she could instantly connect with these amazing machines. Each and every day, Piper would greet the animatronics with a hug when they came and went from the set. She wasn't even expecting this unexpected bond to form. It looked like Piper wasn't just following the rules, she was truly enjoying her time with these unique characters. Piper's natural interest in animatronics was a big part of why she got the part. Piper stood out from the other young actors who auditioned because she seemed to connect with the animatronics naturally. The game's author, Scott Cawthon, was so interested in Piper's audition that he kept going back to it and skipping over other parts. At first, Emma gave Piper a toy rainbow owl named Owen to help her calm down around the animatronics. Owen was still there to comfort them, but Piper's friendship with them made his presence less important. Piper was so into her role that she finally asked to leave Owen behind because she wanted to stay true to her role even when she wasn't on screen. Mike, Piper's co-star Josh Hutcherson, also said nice things about how hard she worked and how much fun she was on set. He thought it was great how she took creative control of her role, which showed how talented she was as a young actress. Piper wasn't the only one who had to work closely with the robots. Other cast members had to treat them like real people, which meant they had to really connect with their mechanical co-stars. This way of working with the animatronics not only made their performances more, it wasn't just silly fun though, Five Nights at Freddy's had deeper, more complicated themes attached to it. Another important rule for the cast was to give their personalities depth and nuance in order to show this. Mike, played by Josh Hutcherson, dealt with more serious problems, while Piper Rubio's character Abby connected with the younger audience. Mike added a scary element to the movie by trying to keep custody of Abby and having painful nightmares about his past. Emma praised Josh's dedication to learning and embodying these deeper parts of his character. She said that he was clearly very interested in the franchise and the role. Everyone who worked on the movie had to follow one important rule, they had to keep everything secret. This was very important because most people didn't know the movie was being made until it was almost done. The cast and crew had to sign strict secrecy agreements to protect the marketing plan, which was carefully thought out for a Halloween 2023 release. Blumhouse Productions, the company that made the movie, was worried that they wouldn't be able to finish the project in time for a good marketing campaign. In order to add to the excitement, several well-known YouTubers who helped make FNAF popular around the world made cameos in the movie. But fans really wanted Markiplier to join because he is a very important person in the FNAF community. Names like Matt Pat and Corix Kenshin were on the screen. Director Emma Tammy said she was sorry Markiplier couldn't join because he had to work on his own movie, but she hinted that he might be able to join in on future episodes. A clever Easter egg in the movie's pizza set also paid tribute to other YouTubers who couldn't be in the movie. Along with the veil of secrecy, the adult players had to deal with a unique problem. They had to film many scenes at night. The studio wanted this rule to make the movie's scary atmosphere feel more real. Even though Freddy's Pizzeria's creepy setting and scary animatronics made people feel scared, filming at night made them feel even scarier, which fits perfectly with the theme and title of the movie. Josh Hutcherson, who is famous for his part in The Hunger Games, played the main character, Mike Schmidt. Hutcherson had to change how he usually looks to play Mike more accurately because his character has terrible dreams and haunted memories all the time. He had to look messy for the part, which was very different from his other parts. This method, which favored a more natural, messy look over professional makeup artistry, gave his character more depth and reality. So that is all the time we had today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video, and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.